This is the Hell of Hell by Samuel Davies. Do not be amazed at this, because a time is coming when all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good unto the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. John 5:28 and 29. Alas, multitudes shall come forth from their graves, not to the resurrection of life, but to the resurrection of damnation. What terror is in the words! See them bursting into life from their subterranean dungeons. Horror throbs through every vein and glares wildly and furiously in their eyes. Every joint trembles and every countenance looks downcast and gloomy. Now they see that tremendous day of which they were warned in vain and shudder at those terrors of which they once made light. They now experientially know the grand business of the day and the dreadful purpose for which they are roused from their slumbers in the grave. To be tried, to be convicted, to be condemned, and to be dragged away to execution. And they will go away into eternal punishment. Matthew twenty-five forty-six. They must go away into the bottomless pit. There they are confined in chains of darkness and cast into the burning lake of fire and brimstone for ever and ever. In that dreadful word, for ever, lies the epitome of torment. This is the hell of hell. If they might be but released from suffering, though it were by annihilation after they have wept away ten thousand millions of ages in extremity of pain, it would be some mitigation, some encouragement. But alas, when as many millions of ages are past as the stars of heaven or the sands on the seashore or the atoms of dust in this huge earthly globe, their punishment is as far from an end as when the sentence was first pronounced upon them. Forever! There is no exhausting of that word when it is affixed to the highest degree of misery. The terror of the sound is utterly insupportable.